so much for indulging me on that. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.
dance? Yeah. Right, no we don't. The two dances that I'm going to do today are the two exceptions to that. Sports ball. This dance finishes by going into a basket and you just keep going around left. Nominate a molly on your side, normally the person who's starting yeah, number, it will be number two actually because the, the molly dance will be on the side of the same. I need to get the lead. And the person who has the molly wants to lead you off as a line. So you break the circle and just keep leading off and the molly will normally lead you off and turn the off into the pub, into a, into a wheel.
champions only do traditional volley dances. Cough. And this one was invented, I think, by John Gasson, who is tinkering with a tune as it was tinkering with a hand clapping sequence. And this is the result. It's in five four time. So don't count in fours, count in fives. We know the answer starts because we've got Richard Goodwin who plays the clarinet and tower dot. And uh, we know the answer to take five. But the tune that John Gasson uh, used to play for it was the French Assembly minus one note in every bar or something like that. <laughs> the basic step, <coughs> because it's in fives, is a one, two, three, four, five. doing cops will probably make it easier to do one hop, two, three hop. On the left foot lead, one hop, two, three hop. So you're going to step on your foot, hop on it, change, change back to the original foot and hop on it. Leaving the other foot in the air, and then it's the same thing. So, in your groups of 
Eight now, two groups of four, you're going to do exactly the same figure. Right and left through, quickly walk it through just so everyone knows which direction. Right shoulders across the same, up and down, left shoulders. <laughs>
two left hand stars and probably a right hand star in the middle.
set and do a round back to your own side. Right shoulder cross over first half, let's walk in. You're going to cross into a circle to the ends cross only just back to back and the middle couples go out slightly further so you're in a circle. So you cross over right shoulders and then you're going to dance around in a clockwise circle. It's not back to place but it's halfway from where you are now. So you haven't quite got back to place. Reform the sets on the opposite side. That's halfway through. Then you're going to cross back left shoulders, form the circle, and dance anti-clockwise, and this time it should be back to place. And there's no upward arms, it's just the arms normal. Why open spaces? Is there much here in the big house? Turn the awkward way. 
feels unusual. You're, you're, instead of going back that way, you turn, you put your right foot back. No, sorry, so left foot of back and turn to your time, right. Or turning round and then coming back. You put your left foot back and turn to your right. So step back onto your left foot, now turn to your right.
wants his hands back up. Basically, all you're going to do is alternate right and left hands, but occasionally you're going to do one of those in there. The sequence, because we're counting in fives, it starts, the clapping sequence starts on a one and a two hand attack. Then you're going to do one hand across with your partner, so you're right, because that's the way it starts. Then a left, then a two hand in one, and then a right. So that's one, two, three, four, five.
the same. Not everyone starts off doing that. The top couple start and then bring in everybody else in the set progressively. So, if I can use this set to demonstrate. <laughs> the top couple will start with their sequence of tapping and turn in, turn down, sorry, on the four and the five. And this couple is ready on the four and the five, not on the one. So do we clap on the four? You don't clap at all until the five. But you stamp, stamp, four and five to face up and knee down. So, ask if you can actually demonstrate this sequence. So, so, two, three, four, five, one, two, and then across. One, and then bring in this. Sorry, I'll do that, hold it there. This couple, now bring in the next couple. Four and five. And then back across the set. This couple is back across the set at the same time. And then this couple bring in this couple. But you just join in on five, yes, and then you start. Five.
if you don't talk from the set, you have a set that can do it. Not a set that can do it very well. Thank you. 
done in the stand here at the moment. So we're going to start off with a, an hour of chip which you can see how you can get an hour in four of them. So there's another one that's been worked out. Well, not just very big, but uh, it should come out as crystals, but there are in four. Um, so we we'll get a good idea of those, and then um, we will take over this, uh, an idea of what people are doing. Um, so, we have, in Gold Star wanted, we always had the back of our minds it would be nice to do some you know, more things with these kind of um, and and But it wasn't until one of our scientists doing some research for his MA came up with this phrase, which really started with all of people showed in an 18th century document. Um, the quote, in Christmas time, and especially on Plow Monday, several men dress themselves in women's clothes and go from house to house of dancing, along with music, where they work for money. These are called shit witches. And that's really all we had to go on. So it was a name like that. <laughs> <laughs> we just had to do it. And the idea originally was that the, the side would stop for a couple of months in the winter and go to Molly, uh, and then carry on. We wouldn't do it all the year round. It sort of began that way, and as in most sides there was a, a bit of a revolution, they didn't want to stop dancing Cotswold. So it, it, took, it was a split off group. And now, in fact, um, half, at least half the sign had nothing to do with the, of the Molly dancers, are actually nothing to do with the uh, uh, Golden Star. Some of them are previous Molly stars, one or two don't, don't do anything except this Molly. So you've got this sort of odd mix, and it's almost going its own way. But because it only happens at Christmas time, it's really going to dance out, usually in Norwich at Christmas, um, at Wickersley Store Bear, and at the Clown Money ceremony at. Uh, um, where is it? Beast. Beast. No, you're not there, are you? Beast. 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 Men dressing in women's clothing are called shit witches. Witching is a term that um, is used for a lot of other uh, plow ceremonies. There are plow witches around, reference to that. It was 18th century, so it obviously predated the combatant stuff, which was from 19th century social Nazis. So we thought we had free reign. Much as we admired the seven chaps, we didn't want to become uh, a sort of seven chaps with the other side. Um, so we, we attempted to try and develop something different, and I think to decide for yourselves whether, whether it is different enough from the Combatant dances and the Seven Champs. And yet, we wanted it still to feel more. There was a big discussion as to what that was. I'm not going to go into it now, but if you're interested, I, I wrote about this in Morris Matters, probably um, 40, 40 number one, how we actually decided what we were going to go for. But you've got to stop thinking and sort of slip. Um, Kent, one in a powerful mind, and you're going to get into sort of Norfolk. Norfolk and good. Yes, and Norfolk and good. There's a lovely apocryphal phrase that, that on the medical records at the end of the, the beds in Norfolk Norwich Hospital, they had an NFM written down in shorthand. Um, so that if you know, a visiting consultant came up, oh, God, my word, you know, this man's something wrong with him. They looked down at NFM, it's normal from Norfolk. <laughs>
So there's quite a bit of contact in this. Um, so if you if you find a partner, left hand straight, right arm diagonally across on the shoulders. <laughs> All right, uh, and uh, left hand choking down, right arm diagonally across on the shoulders. And you've got to get used to the, the same stepping, and it's usually done turning around. So if we go in a clockwise direction, one, two, three, four, Turn facing on one and two. Turn the easy way in each time. 
So everyone across. Turn. One and eight stand still. The rest look their left and zag. One, two, three. And one and two to turn. Everyone across. Turn and zag. Set one and eight. Instead of right shoulders round, 
uh, arm strand, left arm strand, the waist will turn 90 degrees. One, two, on the spot. Back up to the music, one, two, three, on the spot. Forward turn, 360 degrees, run way around, on the spot. Up to the top and break.
squares. Uh, the next figure. Right. I mean, we, which is, <coughs> is a sort of very molly um, move, except you're going to do it in a couple hole. And it is, first of all, um, right arms on the shoulder, uh, the, the first one we did. And you're going to swing round two and a half times and then break to get to the opposite side of the set. So you've got time with the music to get round two and a half.
we set out a pattern, we worked out a stepping, the couple hole, that we wanted to uh, use certain body movements, and we then had a day's instruction where everyone was, well, it wasn't an instruction, it was a workshop. Everyone invented moves. And we collected all the moves together and then sort of put them together. Um, this next move was, uh, I think it's a, it's a lovely move, and you, you visit all four corners of your little square in a rather odd fashion. Um, one of the things that has been happening, especially since we don't practice throughout the year, is we, although we said the dances should be simple, uh, the movements we all came up with when we were excited <laughs> were horrendously complex. Um, they've been simplifying themselves over the years. It's a, sort of, it's a natural process, and I think it will get more simple. The witch, perhaps, this one is perhaps the most complex of the dances because it's the one we put most effort into first of all, and the original people still feel confident with it. Um, the others have gradually uh, got simpler and simpler, and maybe this one will over time if it's kept dancing. But anyway, the, the movement here, you are again in your little groups of four. So, um, think because you know, the darks can be done in four. Middles are going to go in to the middle on one, two, three, four. And you're going to put your arms on the shoulder. The middle, two middle party was most interesting. All right? Now, you've got, if you're dancing as a four, think of yourself as, as just the top four. All right? So, in fact, when I say middles, I mean you. <laughs> Right, there, that's on one, two, three, hop, <coughs> one, two. The top, the ends, uh, dance on the spot to start with, one, two, three, hop, and this is the exception, this is where you move on the one and two. Ends are going to cross over, passing right shoulders, and come round into the middles position. Don't do this yet. In the meantime, middles, on the spot with that, you've got to get to the end, going away from each other, uh, to allow the space of the yeah. ends come into the middle. So it's middles in ends on the spot, ends cross, middles move. Or rather ends move into the middle, middles move to the outside. Yeah. Shall, we, shall we all do that together? So to go, um, go back to your original position. Right? There's a lot happening at once. The only way I can call it is um, is middles in, ends on the spot, which I have to say very quickly. Um, <laughs> ends go, middles go. Uh, the ends will cross right shoulders and go to the middle, the middles will pause and then come out to the end. So, middles in, ends on the spot, we just walk it. Middles in, ends on the spot, ends cross over, middles go. Now, this is repeated four times. New middles in, ends on the spot, ends go. Middles go. Middles in, ends on the spot, ends go, middles go. New middle people in, ends on the spot, ends go, middles go. And you should be back when you start. Can I just ask, So back in where we started, middles in, ends, one, two, three, ends, hop, ends go, or one, hop, two, hop, hop, middles, slip, step to the end. New middles in, ends on the spot, ends go, middles go. Middles in, ends on the spot, ends go, middles go.
did some mining, that seemed rather nice way. Of course, we found out that they don't have to do that. Very simple, very important um, uh, ship which people called the Chandelor. <laughs>
to cross over the set, and this is the way you do it. Um, first callers will back out of the set on one, two, three, hop, pulling the middles with them. So the first move is move out of the set, one, two, three, hop, and then on the spot, one and two. It's then a sideways move across behind the number twos. Um, one, two, three, hop. Turn is, is a 180 degree turn round, one, two, three, hop, and break on the one and two. And you should now have yeah, yeah, four yeah, lots yeah, of yeah, double yeah, stepping. So out on the spot, across on the spot, back into the set, on the spot, and a halfway turn round and break. When you broke, everybody's broken or break or whatever you say at this point. Um, and you get into a double cast position facing up. So you'll broom on your outside shoulder, and arms around, and this is then a double cast round to your left. <laughs> Just like the polish one. <laughs> and back up to face. Right, we'll do the second corner move. Now, second corners face the middle on their side. <laughs> second corners face the middle on their side. Paul has said this is the second corners. There is a figure, of course, in between. Back out of the set. One, two, three. On the spot. Sideways. On the spot. Back into the set. On the spot. Half turn. Move, you will surge up 
On one, two, three, one, and two. Yeah, we're still there. That's where you started. And then you turn to face in. One, two, three. And the middle, then face the first corners on one and two. To be ready for the first corner move. Okay, so first corners have gone back. First couple. Second couple have gone back behind them. Third couple have gone back behind them. The whole set moves up there. One and two. And then it's a turn in. And on one and two, the first corner will be the middle. So they're all ready for the first corner move. Would you like to walk through the first corner move as we reverse the set? We won't do the double middle spot over it. So, first, back, then sideways, across the set, back into the set, and then turn. Whichever way you're facing, you're going to do a complete circle right the way round, uh, back to place. But this is how you do it. Interline right shoulders, right shoulders all the time. Interline right shoulders. Now we've got a nice line uh, facing this way. We're going to, in the next movement, get to a line um, 90 degrees further on. All are going to go forward. Uh, so the, the what are they? The odds are going in and anti-clockwise, and the evens are going forward. Right, move on. On one or two, in that, we've got it lined up here. The middles.
because after the next figure, that's where you've got to end up, all right? You've got to get back to where you started. Might sound very obvious, it is obvious, but uh, uh, this is another possible get carried away figure. This is um, triangle and lock. There is a move in the, in the other dog. Yes. That's what you've got. Backing out the set. And the double pass is the horse. Oh, sorry. And the double pass. The car's through me. Right. Middles go to their right. All right. Um, and you're going to form a triangle of threes, really. Um, in this, on one, two, three, Bob, middles go to the right, the other side the middle. <laughs> on the one and two, your inside arm is going to be right, isn't it? Yes. It's going to be your right arm. It's going to come up. And then down on the shoulder of the person in front. Right. This develops from a movement, it's a lot easier when there are four of you, and it was originally squares of lock, where you put your right hand on the shoulder of the first thing around in a square. This is for a six person dance. Now, you're going to dance around one, two, three, hop, one, hop, two, hop, like that. One, two, three, hop, one. And then comes the lock. You slide your hand down the top of the arm, <laughs> to wrist it, it's a lot of three person lock, and carry on going. Oh, there's a lot of touchy feet. <laughs> and then there's a break. It doesn't actually matter where you are, it's set at this point. So you break on one hop, two hop, you come out. You then return, so the brooms are going to go to the other shoulder, and you come in on one, two, three. Left arm up, left arm down, on the shoulder. <laughs> <laughs> you go the other way, one set of stepping, one, two, three, up, round, and on the one, two, you'll slide down. Yes, a lot
hadn't known was called Dolze. Uh, I found out so subsequently that this is actually a raglan train. <laughs> uh, except uh, instead of doing a raglan break, uh, you know, get across, you do a couple of But I'm afraid it was. Oh, yeah, there was a way around that. Um, it, was, um, it proved totally impossible uh, to get the tube, which is to do what I now find is a rag and hay. So we'll do the more, more simple version. Are we in a position to do it? Oh, no, you should have done the course, shouldn't you? Yes. Once you 
Yes. You don't, yes. Start. Yeah. You don't yeah. start until you're brought in. Okay. But once you're brought in, you keep on stepping. Um, if in the corner movements, the corners need to step. When you're not moving. <laughs> <laughs>
used to have as Cotswold team, the Acton Morris. Um, we used to, we, as the Acton Morris, we started 1987, and from the first, we got Molly joining old hunts who were the people in um, mock Victorian dress for Store Bear and Pell Monday every year. And we used to do uh, two practices. We got really confident we did in one practice, went out and danced. Comments and that's is pretty much as Roy talked on the other night. We started to get discontented with that, decided we wanted to work on our molly. We now, uh, actually we discovered the uh, appearance first, I think, which was after some fiddling around, we came up with this black and white. Um, what we usually get is, hey, the kids, will you? You know, don't comment about the dancing, which is just as well, mostly, but the kids is really good. Uh, we started working on the dances from 1993, and what was on the video yesterday was the very early attempts. Um, they're changing a bit, and actually, um, I'm hoping to get through three dances, one of which is very quick and very easy. The other two, are, um, we've actually changed from last year, so what you're doing here hasn't yet been that scale, though they're one, in one case it's, it's very similar to what we have done in the past. When we started thinking about how we wanted to develop our molly, having had uh, six years of dancing, competent dances, that's where we started. Like it, which is we took, took the view that what Seven Chaps were doing was absolutely brilliant, but not for us. Partly because of what Roy talked about yesterday of teams wanting to be different, um, partly because it didn't, for us, flow naturally out of what we've been doing in the competent dances, and partly because if you're actually going to do seven champs style molly, or anything approaching seven champs style molly well, you have to do a good deal more practice than we do. We now practice molly September, October, November, that's out December and early January through to Strawberry and Tail Monday, and then we revert to a cocktail team for the rest of the year. So that gives us time to work on that, as it doesn't give us time to get anything like the sort of precision that makes seven champs style molly effective, um, so even if we wanted to, we recognised we couldn't do that. What we decided to take from um, the Combatant Molly, first of all, um, differently from, from the other two we've looked at this morning, we kept something like country dance pattern for the dances. So Cotswold dances are figure chorus, collected Molly was country dance. You do a sequence through, you do a number of figures, and then you repeat it and we've kept something like that. That's got its own problems, and I'll, I'll, we'll, we'll look at that in a moment. I mean, the problems basically are, you do it once, it's not very really interesting first time, by the third time you've all stood. So there is a challenge there, and that's something that, that we're looking at. Um, but we've tried to keep that pattern. We've tried to keep what, for us, well, I suppose we've tried to accentuate what, what we probably felt on Friday night, which is that things are pretty fast, you haven't time to think. So our molly is fast. Not necessarily in the stepping, but certainly in terms of what happens and um, the, the time you've got to think. And that's most true of the, of the third dance I'm going to have a go at. Um, that's enough about the, the team. The stepping. Double stepping, loose. Um, nothing really defined in terms of arms, do what seems natural, and keep the, um, keep the feet loose, keep the legs loose, it's a sort of cycling-ish movement. So I'd say, it is high knee, but it's not a, a sort of rigid high knee, it's a let you, I think the cycling's quite nice as an analogy. Okay, can we have some cycling music? Cycling music, exactly, get your thoughts on the oh, uh, first one.
what's in your mind and it's over constitution, you don't have to, you know, that's, that's the concept. Um, first dance, uh, dance for six, it's actually, our, I think it was the first one we developed and it is very close to um, the special from Combaton which we did on Friday night with the handkerchief, if you remember. So you want sets of six, very, very simple dance, we'll just uh, run through it. You don't need handkerchiefs. Spot, 
it's a circle round, a double cast, and a swing. So, sets of six again, we'll walk it, get your back when we're walking it. Thank <laughs> you. 
somebody. <laughs> He'll do, right? So you going?